he mi he tuatahi ki te kai karakia Joe te nakui ki na manohiri <coughs> ina hau e fai nau nau mai haira mai te nakoto te nakoto te natato kotoa. So it's my job to welcome everybody to the uh, School of Population Health for this celebration. Ten years of the New Zealand Family Violence Clearinghouse. I'm Nairi Kurse, um, and I've been the head of school for a few years. Uh, still feel like I'm new to the job. So um, it's uh, really, it's, we're very, very proud to have the Clearinghouse with us in the School of Population Health. And uh, we're very, very respectful and acknowledge the huge con contribution that Janet and Robin and the rest make to, uh, to society. Now, a special uh, welcome to, I'm not sure if she's made it from the airport, Radha Balakrishnan from Supra. Yay! Congratulations. So we're very grateful for the funding which flows through Supra to the Family Vines Clearinghouse. So, <laughs> 10 years of the Clearinghouse, and I must point out that it wasn't always here with us. Uh, the Clearinghouse was launched in association with Torito New Zealand Family Violence Prevention Strategy in 2005. Um, it was originally housed in the University of Canterbury um, and with a consortium of key family violence service providers. Um, then uh, with the Ministry of Social Development from 2008 to, to 2010. So we're very pleased that they're now here with the School of Population Health. Special welcome to Cheryl Han. Who's the original? Where's Cheryl? Yes, <laughs> Cheryl, yay. Original outreach coordinator for the Clearinghouse and still an active member of the advisory group. Mihi nui ki ki koe and to members of the advisory group past and present and to all the people who have worked for the Clearinghouse over the last 10 years. Tēnā koutou. I must express special acknowledgement, of course, to Janet and Robin. So for those of you, everybody knows Janet Farnslow, Robin Dixon, co-directors of the Clearinghouse, and their small but hard-working team. Um, and the team is going to grow, so we're very happy about that too. Uh, so Janet and Robin have led the Clearinghouse since 2011, when Uni Services was awarded the contract uh, from the Families Commission, which then became Superu. So the last six months have seen over 20,000 users accessing some of the 2,760 records in the library. Since 2011, the number of email subscribers has risen 432% to over 3,000 people. Um, this, the team um, has processed 261 individual requests for information and in the 12 it's to the 12 months ending June 2015. This represents a pretty phenomenal amount of work for the small team and I really think demonstrates the demand for evidence-based information that's out there. And we're very happy that the Clearinghouse is providing that evidence-based information. So service users range from government agencies, including the police, the Ministry of Health, the Ministry of Social Development, ACC, Health Quality and Safety Commission, and various other ministries, local government, health practitioners, judges, from the family and criminal courts, and many non-government organisations working in the family violence space. And let's not forget the members of the public who really are the main, um, the main audience for, uh, for this work. So family violence continues to be a huge problem in New Zealand. I'm not going to talk very much about that because we have experts in the field who will inform us. And I really want to sincerely thank Janet and Robin for the hard work that's come over this 10 years. Now I'm going to hand it back to Robin to carry on with this uh, great celebration. So welcome everybody and thank you for coming. Thank you.